Hey, this is Peter from Nexton Web. In this video, I would like to show you how the feature slider has been made with the free version of Smart Slider 3. And I will also show you how you can insert this slider into a WordPress post using Gothenburg Editor. First, you need to add Smart Slider 3 to your website. Go to the plugins Add New. Use the search input to find Smart Slider 3. Click on Install Now. Then activate. Now you will find a smart slider menu point and you should go there. This is the dashboard where the slider creation starts. Inside the template library, you can find a ton of pre designed sliders, even in the free version of Smart Slider 3, such as the feature slider. Import it with one click. This slider is on your website now. You can take a look at its preview and publish it anywhere you want. Right now, I want to show you how this slider was created, so I will delete the imported slider. To start from scratch, click on the new slider button. Give a name to the slider, change the height to 600 pixels and press create. Press add slide, image and select the background of the slide. Images are automatically adjusted to the slides, so you don't need to use exact image sizes. Enter the slide. The first element on this slide will be a one-column row structure. Click on the row and change its background color to white. Put an image layer inside the column. This should be a little icon before the text. The next layer will be a heading layer. Let's start with the design and change the color white to something more visible. First, change the font family, then decrease the font size and increase the font weight. Disable the text alignment so it can come from the parent element instead. Now you can replace the text. Put down a text layer under the heading layer. Change the text and then go to the design settings. Modify the design and go to the column of the layers. Align everything to the left. Make the padding of the row bigger and set a maximum width. Align the row to the left and add some padding to the content layer. Adjust the spacing between the layers. Take a look at the tablet view. It is fine, so move on to the mobile view. We won't need this much space around the row. But on the top and bottom, we can show a little bit more. Use the font resizer to make the text size smaller. The row's paddings should be decreased as well. And lastly, you should have less space under the image layer. The slide is done and you can save it. I would like all my slides to look the same with different texts and images, so let's open up the slide list and duplicate this slide twice. Enter the slides and replace their contents. After you are done, go to the slider settings. And the general settings, change the main animation to fade. Then at the size tab, give 600 pixels to the maximum height value. Lower, we should pick a different arrow and turn it on to only show the arrows on hover. The color of the arrows should be blue and white on hover. Go to the style settings. Here you can set the background color of the arrows. Add paddings to make the arrow bigger. You can use the border radius to create a round shape. Go to the hover state. And change the background color to blue. Apply the style and now we can adjust the offset values. These are the distances from the selected positions. Go to the bullets. Turn them on and go to the dot style settings. This is where the color of the dots can be changed. I will copy the first part because I want the same color for the active and hover state but without opacity. Apply the settings and go to the bar style. Give a white background color to the entire bullet bar. Change the paddings and use a big border radius. 
apply the settings and we can take a look at the slider. It looks just like I want it to. The colors are harmonizing and the distances are perfect. We can close this preview and save the slider. Now go to the post where this slider should be published. It is quite easy to publish our slider using Gothenburg Editor. You just need to choose the Smart Slider 3 element and select the slider. Update the post and take a look at it on the front end. A slider can always make your posts more interactive and fun. This is all about the feature slider. If you are looking for some other designs, check out the example sliders on our website. All these can be imported from the template library just as easily as the feature slider. And as always, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If so, please give us a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos in the future, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Goodbye!